Our Lady had appeared to a Sister Agnes in 1973. She appeared to her several times. And these weren't sugar-coated messages. They were hard-hitting. And mainly why I'm sharing these two is these have been fully approved by the, by the church. June 1988, Vatican City, Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger, the prefect of the Congregation of the Doctrine of Faith, gave a definitive judgment of the key to events. His message is reliable and worthy of belief. The stamp of Holy Mother Church that these are good. And so that's why I'm sharing these here too. We'll get some themes. I'll, these are just little snippets from Our Lady. And Our Lady said, many men, or, you know, men, men, women, children, many people in this world afflict the Lord. Amen. We're all sinners. She said, I desire souls to console him, to soften the anger of the Heavenly Father. By God's grace, we're all doing that to a certain degree tonight, huh? We're not out of bar drinking or getting, we're here with Jesus. We realize he's most important. I wish with my son for souls who will repair by their sufferings and their poverty for the sinners and ingrates. Now listen to this. In order that the world might know his anger, the Heavenly Father is preparing to inflict a great chastisement on all mankind. With my son, I have intervened so many times to appease the wrath of the Father. Hebrews 9, Jesus lives to make an intercession for us. Mary makes an intercession for us. I have prevented the coming of calamities by offering him the sufferings of, the, of his son on the cross, his precious blood, and the beloved souls who console him uh, by being victim souls. Prayer, penance, and courageous sacrifices can soften the Father's anger. And I desire all of this from your particular community here at Sister Agnes. Our Lady says, my dear, on October 13th, well, right away you're probably thinking, oh, October 13th, Our Lady of Fatima, that's right. October 13th, 1917, the miracle of the sun of, our Fat, of Fatima, where the sun's coming, hurling down towards the earth. 70,000 people witness it. People who are sick are healed. There's a big rainstorm. All the rain dries up. The clothes are dry. So keep that in mind with what, what Our Lady says here, October 13th, 1973, in Japan. My dear daughter, Listen well to what I have to say to you. As I told you, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. It will be a punishment greater than the del deluge or the, the flood. You know, only eight people live through that, huh? Such as one will never seen, has never been seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and will wipe out a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priest nor faithful. The survivors will find themselves so desolate that they will envy the dead. The only arms which will remain for you will be, here's the main point, will be the rosary, the sign left by my son. Each day, recite the prayers of the rosary. Again, she says, with the rosary, pray for the pope, the bishops, and priests. Wow. I don't think the world's gotten better since 73. In what, like 40, 100, how many, with contraception, hundreds of millions of abortions since 1973. Euthanasia, same-sex marriages, legalized in different places, and on and on and on. There must be a lot of victim souls on the world, spending a lot of uh, time with our Eucharistic Lord that's prevented this calamity from coming. Then our lady says the same date, and we'll finish up here, the work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops opposing bishops. How many times has the Bishop of Rome, the Vicar of Christ, the Pope, wrote in the cyclical or said something, and the bishops they don't listen to it. The priests who venerate me will be scorned and opposed by their confreres. Churches and altars sacked. Since 1973, how many churches had communion rails ripped out, statues taken out, stained glass windows, beautiful high altars like we have here taken out? Churches and altars sacked. The church will be full of those who accept compromises. And the demon 
oppress many priests and consecrated souls to lead the service of the Lord. And then it just goes on. If sins increase in number of gravity, there will be no longer pardon for them. This is a call from Our Lady. For all who are praying and going to Mass regularly, that we have to step it up another notch. Now just looking at your face, I think everyone out here is a daily rosary prayer. What I would ask you to do for this next year, because we're making resolutions, right? We want to be even closer to the Lord because we know that we're not perfect saints, but we have a desire to be, to be that. If you're praying one rosary a day, step it up and do two. If you're doing three, step it up and do it four. We all need to step it up a notch. As Pope Pius XII said, the salvation of the many depends on the faithfulness of the few. Our prayers is not by an accident that we have the faith. It's not by accident that we love to be with our Eucharistic Lord. God has given us so many graces He's been forming us. God wants to raise up an army that will transform this world. And Our Lady is trying to gather the troops because she sees God could have smashed the world years and years ago. But by God's mercy, we're still here.